The self-confessed actions of this Grace Gang Defense Force captain, Orwin Sandy, over the weekend has sparked a discussion on violence against women. Women rights activist and social worker Nicole Cole has added her voice to the conversation. Cole revealed that she knew him in their college years. According to her, since then, Sandy had expressed violent thoughts towards a woman with whom he was romantically involved with at the time. I attended Critchillow in 2001. I graduated from Critchillow in 2002. So we're looking at that, that time period. Um, I was successful in saying to him, uh, no, you shouldn't... Uh, you shouldn't think that way, and, and to talk him, and, and even though he was expressing uh, his anger at something that she did or was constantly doing, I said, man, look, um, there's no need for you to actually respond that way. Um, I was saying that because I said to him, look, you have a career. I kept stressing on the career. Um, eerily, it was reported uh, in the press that um, I think it was on the 27th of December in 2017 when they had a, when the now dead uh, spouse and him had a domestic dispute that um, he allegedly screamed at her that um, he would put, it, put her in a box and um, he would put his career on the line. So I often, uh, often talk to him about his career and the importance of not taking actions that could harm that career. And, uh, I thought, well, that he had listened because um, seeing him years after and watching him blossom into the person that he became, I'm saying that he would have um, ride it through the ruts, uh, using the terminology from Bob Marley, you know, that he has overcome that storm in his life. Thinking perhaps that the embattled officer had heeded her advice a few years ago, Cole was dumbfounded to hear of his recent actions. On Saturday morning, the 31st of March, who it is alleged have done this? And I'm like, no, because just last year um, I saw him and he was encouraging me to send troubled young men to him. Oh, yes, because he knew I do social work. He would pay attention to my activism. And so he was commending me on my work and was even offering to assist me in helping a uh, quote-unquote troubled young man and so um, to watch him uh, actually to hear and, and then you know first I thought was one shot you know when you hear that, that she got shot but when I heard 14 um, I lost my appetite I, I got um, I cried. The very vocal social worker who was once a victim of domestic violence related the reported cases of domestic violence are on the rise, according to the police statistics for 2017. This is coming out of the Guyana police force. And uh, for 2017 in A division, they would have had 167 persons charged. Um, out of 306 reports of domestic violence. That's A division alone. In B, you've had 261 out of 482. This is last year's stats I'm giving you. Huh? In C, you've had 457. This is number of reports. And you had 206 charged. It goes all the way down to G. But in the end, in 2017, the police placed 984. And these are men only. While domestic violence affects thousands of women, Kola highlighted a proposed plan which was never enforced by the previous and current government, which will help to curb the epidemic of domestic violence against women. Something must be done to send a clear message. I recommend that we here in Guyana adopt the UK National Plan for Women. Um, it's an action plan. Actually, the UK um, National Plan was launched uh, recently. It came out in January 2018. It goes from 2018 to 2022. And there is a strategic outcome number three 
that speaks to ending gender-based violence. It speaks to the fact that violence disproportionately affects women and girls because of the unequal power relations in the society between men and women. For Channel 2 Headline News, Esther Sobers. Thanks for watching Channel 2 Headline News. If you like this story, leave a like. We'd really appreciate it. Also, you can share your views and comments below. And if you really like what you see, hit the subscribe button for updates on all the news happening in Guyana.